greetings, greetings, and salutations, one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the night shift. It is Tuesday night, a healthy love night, and um, I want to welcome you, each and every one, to the show right now. Those tuned in on TuneIn Radio, Rotterbox.net, Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew, One Harmony Radio, Foundation Radio Network, whomever it is that is carrying the show right now. Big ups, big ups, big ups to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Tonight is, I can't tell you, doing the show kind of heavy tonight. But um, let's see if we can lighten the load, yeah? Let's attack this with purpose. Five star kill. It's called With You. in the stew pot 155 good evening good evening good evening good morning good afternoon good day wherever you are in the world uh, do you have someone or some people that give you purpose or help to remind you what your purpose is. Just like drop them a little line right now. If you can't call them and talk to them, send them a text message. Just say thank you. Sometimes there are some things that happen in our lives and you know you kind of have to take a step back and uh, look into it and you know you, you question certain things and one of them sometimes is what's your purpose you know today I, I, I personally had one of those days where it was like rough you know my younger son had to be taken to the hospital and later on I found out that there was a death in the family um, it's, it's, it's rolling up to the anniversary of my mother's passing, the, the birthday of my uncle that passed away last year. Actually, <laughs> it's funny. Um, his birthday rolls around next week and, and his youngest brother passed away. 
today. It makes you wonder sometimes, you know, and question what your purpose is. But in everything, give thanks. Because you get the opportunity. Like me, I got the opportunity to think about some of these things. You know, um, here I am. I have this show. Purpose. It wasn't by accident. I didn't plan to do this. It, 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 it is here for me by design. What, what do you have? What is designed specifically for you? And you're in it. I don't realize it. I want to say big ups once again to everybody locked in and logged on. And to say thanks to Pulse E-Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in the moment is priceless, give them a call. 754-999-6020 or visit them at PulseEMG.com. Thank you guys over there at, at Pulse E-Media. Now, when I look at things like the day I had today and I look back in the news um, here it was famous soap opera actor you would think he has all that he, he, he needs all that he wants killed himself why he still hadn't dealt with the loss of his son last year from last year did he lose his purpose you're very welcome Seven seven three seven eight nine. still gets you in touch um, also let me just put that out there just got a, a message <laughs> you're welcome and and thank you Thank you. Do did did he lose his purpose? You know, and 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 these are the things that, on occasions, we should really stop and think about. And. One of my greatest fears, if, if, if you know me or if you've listened to the show long enough, you would know that one of my greatest fears is to lose one of my kids. And for my younger son to end up being taken to the hospital because of, of respiratory issues, um, he has asthma. But it was so bad that he, the, the, the doctor called for her, the paramedics to come and get him. Now, they, they released him from hospital, thank God. Or else I wouldn't have been doing this show right now. But, you know, it, it makes you stop and think. I have a friend that, that would, would often remind us to stop and smile. But you have to stop and think. And then smile. In this case, you know, he, he ended up going back home to his own bed. Without being poked and prodded and, 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 and checked on constantly. But still watched over with love you know and I, 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 I turn around and get this news that here it is my uncle who I was just jamming with at his brother's funeral suddenly had a massive coronary and is with us no more makes you think <laughs> what's my purpose am I doing all that I'm supposed to do is there more for me to do are there things that I should do 
Okay, so this show is not about purpose, but in mixed into everything that we do is some purpose. Why are you the way you are? Why are you friends with the people that you're friends with? Why do you do what you do? Yeah, it's for another type of show. But it matters when it comes to our health. Did you know that one out of seven individuals will suffer from depression symptoms at one point or another in their life? Depression is one of the main causes of disability in developed as well as low and medium income countries. So everybody faces depression. Around 150 million people suffer from depression worldwide. Which will make Big Pharma smile, right? <laughs> because in the US, pharmaceuticals is big business. And if they can give you a drug for that whether it works or not once they can market it and it can get sold then catching win business the WHO the World Health Organization predicts that depression will become the second most prevalent disease worldwide not just in the u.s worldwide by the year 2020 that's not very far away it's next year but the question is what are we doing to prevent and treat this life-altering mood disorder the typical treatment is antidepressant so Again, big pharma. Meds. But they don't work on every person with depression. And they come with some side effects. That if you listen to an antidepressant commercial, it tells you the name at the beginning. It might tell you a little bit about what depression is. The rest of the commercial is pretty much a disclaimer. So, uh, what? About 80% of the commercials are disclaimer. Side effects. If you suffer from, you may have, and if you have suicidal thoughts or tendencies, wait, hold on. Isn't that why you're taking the drug in the first place? Because you're depressed and potentially have suicidal thoughts and tendencies? So here it is, you're you having a condition that puts you to, brings you to the edge and you're going to take a medication that just says, hey, let me help push you over. <laughs> There's some good news, however. There are natural remedies for depression that are effective and help address the root cause of the disease. So if you're looking for a natural way to improve your depressive symptoms... Believe it or not, you may find it on a plate. You can possibly eat <laughs> your antidepressant. Um, there is a Mediterranean diet that provides critical vitamins and minerals for hormone balance and brain function as well as essential oils for depression and lifestyle changes like exercising. These are some of those, the, 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 the options that can pretty much get you started with treating your or depressive um, tendencies or depression on a whole. So... Depression itself is when a person experiences low mood persistently. 
we all have mood fluctuations. Sometimes we're in a good mood, sometimes we're in a bad mood. But when you always in a not so good mood to the point that it starts to interfere with the daily life struggling with depression can be extremely painful and it's not just painful for the person that is experiencing the, the symptoms of depression but the people around them can be real rough the causes of depression are varied and they include stress, <laughs> unresolved emotional problems, neurotransmitter imbalance, hormonal imbalances, food allergies, alcoholism, nutrition deficiencies, lack of sunlight. Believe it or not, yes, something as simple as sunlight. Toxicity from metals, toxic mold. All these things can cause depression. And although depression can happen at any age, it often develops in adulthood. Especially those in, in, in middle-aged or older adults who are struggling with other serious medical issues like cancer and diabetes and Parkinson's disease. But other risk factors for depression also exist. Things like a family history of depression or taking certain medications that actually have depressive side effects. You might have some major life changes or there's ongoing stress and, and, and trauma. These things can cause depression. And depression can manifest with a variety of symptoms. Fatigue, persistent sadness, low mood, irritability, um, feelings of, of worthlessness and helplessness, difficulty concentrating, difficulty sleeping, low sex drive, changes in appetite, changes in weight, feelings of helplessness. So, not only do you feel hopeless, but you feel helpless. That's rough. There's disinterest in hobbies or activities. You have aches and pains. Yeah, there's a physical manifestation of depression. You have headaches, digestive issues, thoughts of death or suicide. And not just a thought, but actually attempting it. These things are real. 773-789-STU gets you in touch. 773-789-7839. I want to hear from you guys tonight. If I can't hear from you, I'd um, literally hear from you, I'd at least like to read what you want to say. So jump in the stew pot. The water is always great. KevinStew.com. Look for the stew pot. It's what others call a chat room. Or you can just message me. 773-789-STEW or send me an email, kevinstew.com or hit me up if you're connected with me on Facebook. Hit me up that way. I'll get you a message. Don't worry. I'll get it. Conventionally, depression typically is treated with the use of medication and psychotherapy. Typically. The most widely used form of medication for depression is SSRIs or Selective Serotonin Reup Reuptake Inhibitors. SSRIs. Selective Serotonin Reuptake inhibitors. These include drugs like uh, Selexa, Lexapro, Zoloft, Prozac, and Paxil. And research shows that antidepressant medication help patients with depression, but they work as, 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 as symptom 
suppressors, not as cures. Again, Big Pharma is all about treating symptoms because if you treat the issue, sounds better, doesn't it? If you treat the issue itself, you cure the problem. And if you cure the problem, then Big Pharma won't make any money. So their business is in treating symptoms. The problem with treating some of these symptoms, especially with these antidepressants, is the side effects. And again, these side effects include things like suicidal thoughts, weight gain, personality changes. And another danger of, of psychotropic drugs is that they can cause neurotransmitter degeneration. So they basically alter what the brain does. In addition to medication, psychotherapy is another option. And there are several forms of psychotherapy that can be helpful, including something simple as talk therapy, what others call counseling, problem-solving therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, and interpersonal therapy. A study conducted at the Ohio State University found that when cancer patients suffering from depression were asked if they would rather use individual counseling, antidepressant medications, or support groups to address their symptoms, preference for individual counseling was slightly higher than the other options. Because counseling can be an effective depression treatment, along with other natural remedies for depression. What? Natural remedies? Yes, natural remedies. You ever realize how good you feel after you talk to someone about an issue? There's something weighing heavily on you. And you get the opportunity to share about it. And if it's, even if it's with a stranger, someone that you probably will never ever see again in your life, or the chances are, chances of seeing them are pretty slim and you just let it out you just talk it out it just feel good you ever notice that or you write it down someone mentioned to me just this evening that writing makes you feel so good and they were talking from experience Write it down. You do remember how to use pen and paper, right? You know, I have to ask that question because we we have gone so digital <laughs> that it, it is like writing is a lost art. But yeah, you can write it down. 27 minutes after the hour. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to look at some of the natural remedies for depression. And, of course, when we come back, we're going to see if we can pick up the energy just a little bit. Uh, this, this, this first half was a, a little bit solemn, and I get that. Um, it, it would probably help if I had changed also the topic to the, the tagline to show you what the topic for the night is. <laughs> There we go. Because we're naturally fighting depression tonight. So, uh, we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, again, thanks to Policy Media Group for this previous segment. When we come back, we, we look at some of the natural remedies for depression. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Pulsey Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. 
It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked? Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels, so we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR, as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. Roll out with Island Rock Music and have fun. Check out the quality apparel at islandrockmusic.com. Designed for you and your crew. Hear the music, feel the breeze, with selected tracks and more. Available now from the online store at islandrockmusic.com. islandrockmusic.com. Log on today and ride with us. Step in. These are roots vibrations. Step in. almost every school bus in class. You see me around the neighborhood, and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America, and I'm struggling with hunger. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me. We are Feeding America, brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. It's Chris Sinti representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's two and a night shift ready to show you it. At the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa! DJ Kevin's true at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just choose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's true, believe him, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift with a show, Christine. This is a hot to talk. Loud. Okay. 
No time for vex, no time for stress, no. No time for complain and for give up. No time for focus on the negative. We live with life like a holiday. The Lord of Lords, He made we stay so. All problems we leave it to Him. Shall we sing that one yeah, now? Live my life like an holiday. Check with the most every day. Watch over my soul, I pray. Another my steps along the way. Live me life like an holiday. Check with Jesus every day. Watch over my soul, I pray. And let your blessings fall on me and me. Me let go, me let God. Now make me weakness get me sad. Now make me problems get me mad. Me a angel like I'm just trust God. God a bless, God a bless, so I vex. Man just a go through the process Now I complain that bring more stress and more stress in daddy progress Live my life like an holiday Check with the most I every day Watch over my soul I pray And all of my steps along the way Live me life like an holiday Check with Jesus every day Watch over my soul I pray And let your blessings fall down on me and me God is see we, why worry, why worry When everything done cook and curry Spiritually, things look sunny So why fret over food and money? No, 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 not all Nothing make we a stress and ball No, 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 not all Nothing make we a stress Live my life like an holiday Check with the most of every day Watch over my soul, I pray And all of my steps along the way the sound of Sherwin Gardner. With God bless, brother Gav. A lyrical miracle. This is the holiday remix. From the EP called titled The Process. My soul, I pray. I pray. Let your blessings fall on me and me. It's called Holiday. I want to say thanks to GMAT Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. You want musical equipment, PA systems, engineers, lighting, musicians, singers. Give a call 754-307 GMAC. 754-307-4622. Tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you. Or you can visit them at gmatmusicsolutions.com. Give you a good idea of what they do, yeah? So, it's Healthy Love Night. For those of you just tuning in, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we're looking at some natural remedies for depression. For me, one of them is music. And when I say it is music, <laughs> again, here we go back to the story. Um, I started playing music a little over 30 years ago. Officially. But music has been a part of me all my life. So, for me, one of those therapeutic things has to do with music. Whether I'm going to be playing an instrument or playing recorded music, DJing, music is therapy. So, so now we're going to look at some, some, some natural remedies for depression, because that's a natural one for me, music. 
diet that um, happens to be <laughs> on the list when it comes to natural remedies. The recommendation is that you eat a healthy and well-balanced diet. Not that you're going to put it on a scale. Well, maybe you could put it on a scale. But it, I know some people are probably surprised. You know, going, wait, 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 who, who, wait. Well, and then others going, of course, makes sense. You're depressed, you get some food, you get a tub of ice cream, uh, some chips, and you're good to go. Not quite. <laughs> it, they said, healthy. The balance doesn't mean you have a tub of ice cream in one hand and an equal amount of weighted chips in the other. No. <laughs> food choices can have a significant impact on your mood. Significant. It is key to eat foods that support neurotransmitter function. Which pretty much are the brain's messengers that control your mood. It also controls your energy levels, your appetite, and a whole lot of other processes in the body. Neurotransmitters are significantly influenced by foods you put into your body. Research including a study done in 2018, published in the journal Primary Care, also shows that eating an anti-inflammatory diet, such as one that closely mimics the traditional Mediterranean diet, can reduce your risk for depression. When compared to the other balanced diets, including the Healthy Eating Index, HEI, the dietary approaches to Stop Hypertension Diet, DASH, and the Dietary Inflammation Index Diet, the study found that the risk of depression was reduced most with adherence to a healthy Mediterranean type diet. I wonder if that is why the people that live on that side of the world tend to be less depressed. A 2009 study published in the British Journal of Psychiatry exam ex examined the, the, the association between dietary patterns and depression. There were 3,486 participants who fell into one of two dietary categories. The first one was those who ate a whole food diet, heavily loaded with vegetables, fruits, and fish. The second, they ate a, pro they ate a lot of processed foods. These foods included sweetened desserts, fried foods, processed meats, refined grains, and high-fat dairy products. After five years, the participants were assessed. Researchers found that those who stuck to the whole food dietary pattern had lower odds of depression. In contrast, high consumption of processed foods was associated with a risk of developing depression, an increased risk. So, eating healing foods can be transformative and we're gonna have there's actually a breakdown of the whole anti-inflammatory foods that should be a part of your diet and treat depression you ready for it okay so you want omega-3 foods and and some of these you it, it, it's not going to be a bit of any, any any surprise at all that I'm mentioning some of these on this list because these are things that you've heard on this show from time after time relating to other things. So your omega-3 foods and research shows that one of the most important comp components of your diet in order to prevent or treat mood disorders is omega-3 foods. Your brain lipids are actually composed of fatty acids. Of those fatty acids, 33% belong to omega-3, to the omega-3 family. One third of those fatty acids. That means you need to eat omega-3s in order for your brain to function properly. 
omega-3s benefit the brain by promoting communication processes and reducing inflammation. The best omega-3 foods include wild-caught fish like salmon, mackerel, herring, and white fish. But not only fish. Walnuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, natto, and egg yolks. Yes, egg yolks. Good evening, 648. Oh my goodness! The one montherian Dr. J. Love in the building! Hey, listen, listen, just, just call, just call. <laughs> Uh, just call here's another treatment for depression right here dr j love uh, that's that's a treatment for depression if i ever had one here she is just just go ahead and call <laughs> oh you are so missed um so you, you there you, yes 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 we'll get it that you're there in the chat room why are you not here on the phone call waiting call we're talking about natural ways to, to fight depression tonight and here you come with your in all your splendor and glory just just showing up and changing the mood just like that <laughs> all right i'll continue as as you get yourself together and make this phone call. <laughs> Let, let's see if we can twist her arm to calling. So, um, next on the list is fruits and vegetables. Thank you very much. Hey, hey, we, we managed to twist her arm just a little bit. I, I won't say another word until she comes on. Dr. J. Love. What? Hey, listen. Um, this this little thing you hear, I know you you you're there. All right, talk again. Can I can hear you ish? I just want to get you into the system properly. And 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 this little thing you hear, decide that it went to to, to fool around right now. Don't play with me. All right, go on again. <laughs> Okay, there you are. All right, you hear me now? Yes, loud and clear, and so can everybody else. All right, good evening, South Florida. Good evening. We're all over the world. We're worldwide now, so good evening, world. Good evening to the world, <laughs> indeed. To the world, world. <laughs> to the earl. <laughs> to the Dr. Earl. J. Love, how are you? I am wonderful. I am quite happy yes uh, i've kicked i've kicked my depression that's for damn sure <laughs> oh beautiful 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 uh, i started off the show telling the story um of of losing a family member um last year late last year around about august yes um my uncle passed away he was like a father figure to me and here it is i got a phone call this evening that his youngest brother had a massive coronary at the funeral i played drums my cousin played drums and did i lose dr j i just lost dr j she ain't call back i know she ain't call back um in the meantime Numbers to get you in touch, 773-789 Stu for the if you want to talk to Dr. J while she is she's on the line. Um But call back Dr. J, call back. <sighs> I, she has me waiting to exhale now. Is, is, I don't know if it's dead or phone dead or what? I don't know what happened, but I lost Dr. J. All right, so let's see if we can we can get her back real quick. Um, somebody say a little prayer so we can get back, Doctor J. All right, so let me let me let me let me continue the list in the meantime. So fruits and vegetables. A diet high in fruits and vegetables increases your intake of vital nutrients that support your mood. Fruits and veggies high in folate, 
for example, promote um, help to promote the brain's metabolic processes. And research shows that folate deficiency can lead to de depressive symptoms. Now, of course, we don't want that. Here we go. The good doctor is back. I am back. I don't know what happened. It's the gremlins. The gremlins. The gremlins just don't like when I call, you know. <laughs> they, know. they already know I'm coming to mash down Babylon. So they, yes. they are prepared. Yes. Uh, big farmer always get afraid when you go on. You know, uh, yeah, no, I don't I'm know you. Because I thought the same thing that you were talking about. It sounds different when it comes from you, I guess, because you have the DR and I have the DJ. The, apparently. <laughs> apparently. And I think they just have they have my IP marked. So they say whenever this one calls anything coming out of this line or from this IP, just shut it down because... Yeah. So they live up the people and tell them too much things that I'm supposed to know. Right. And when I really want them, so you know, them just try to shut the eye down. Right. But the lioness is on the rise, so they can never, ever, mm. <laughs> ever roar. shut me down. Roar. Hear me roar. Woman, my name. See that? Yeah, man. So we're about lucky. <laughs> That's right. And if you're not lucky, you make your own luck. See that? Same way, so. All right, so exactly so you 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 caught the topic right, and as mentioning at the beginning, I lost an uncle, um, mm -hmm. and um, my son, my younger son, was in the hospital earlier today, as my attack, um, and it, it, his mother took him to the doctor, and the doctor called the paramedics to take him to the ER. What was it? An allergic reaction? Uh, they didn't say. They they, gave, they pumped him so full of some steroids and steroids, yeah. his his breathing normalized and his heart rate normalized and they sent him home. Yeah, that sounds like an allergic reaction, like a very violent one. That's the only thing. You know, that stero well, they throw steroids at just about anything mm -hmm. that they don't understand. Typically, an allergic reaction, a very violent one, will have them just throwing a bunch of steroids at you, and then you calm down, and then they send you home. But that doesn't solve the problem because we don't know what caused it. There we go. So that means he's going to probably have to walk with an EpiPen. And, um, along with the, the pump. Kinda keep, along with an asthma pump. Yeah, you're going to have to keep him on that just for now. Until you figure out exactly what is causing it, this reaction. Because this is serious, you know. This is anaphylactic shock we're talking. So you know, for them to call it the ambulance, it had to have been serious. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is this is shock. So we can't really... This is something you want to get him probably tested, skin tested to see. But then Again. he's tested him already. Yeah, Again. he's been tested already. Yep. Oh boy, maybe he got exposed to something he's allergic to and didn't even know. Because you know, a lot of foods are so processed and combined with all kinds of things. That is it. So you don't even know. The labels don't say all that is included in the food. That Anything is pre -packaged. it. Anything prepackaged. See? So the prepackaged foods, you need to take him off that stat. If it is not made at home, I know this is going to be very difficult. But, if he, but you have to do it now because this is life and death. Mm -hmm. So if it comes in a bag, no, thank you. He cannot have it now because you just don't know. Right. You just do not know. And, and we don't want a repeat of this. So this is the problem with the food. And, and, and honestly, some of the food, some of the things that are in them, the additives in them are addictive, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And not having them creates the desire for them. And you don't get them. Then you, you people can spiral into depression from Here just Here we foods. go. Right. From just the foods alone. So this is something you kind of have to really think about. Make sure that you are eating foods. Like, I mean, even my husband and I, because we're busy. That sounds so nice to say, my uh, husband and I. As about to say, <laughs> look at you. Chill, <laughs> you say, chill. <laughs> so, but we have made a conscious decision to do more meal prep at home because, you know, we're both running crazy. Right. Uh, you know, I still see patients. I still I have a real estate business that's running. I have an online business that's running. So, I mean, I'm busy. Right, I right. really am. And a lot of times I don't have time. I mean, I, no, it's not true. I don't, I, I have the time. I just don't make the time to, to prep the meals like I would like to. So we end up mm -hmm. just on the fly buying something on the street. Right, and then right. we both sit and eat it and look at each other like, 
you know, we could have done so much better than this. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, it didn't even taste good. It not even taste good. Right. But, you know, you're just, it's just out of desperation the and the circumstances too. and the convenience. But convenience will kill you. Shot right. could draw blood, them say. That's what they say. So, yeah. So, we have made it a point now. And I remember, I mean, I remember even growing up when my mom would go to work and we'd come home. And it seemed like life was a little slower then. But still, she would go to work. She'd get up in the morning, make make us breakfast. And then the, the meat, whatever she was going to cook for dinner, was already par cooked from in the morning. Mm-hmm. And the pot put it put back in this in fridge or it was like it was already fully cooked and then we just come home and make some rice or some vegetables and that was it and so i have you know it, sometimes you forget those things but you really have to go back to basics mm-hmm. and figure out how to make this thing work because the processed foods are killing us it is not even a joke anymore literally i mean i am no I, I really think that this is part of one of my um my my ventures, but I really I'm going to start. I, it, it it has been pressed. Well, I, I think I've just I'm pressed now to do it because one of my very dear friends is going through a serious issue with bleeding. Mm. I went through it, you know, last year. Thankfully, I've I've had some intervention and I'm 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 doing a little bit better now. Right, right. But she now is is going through the same thing, and I mean it is to the point where she cannot function. She is now basically I think her hemoglobin is like a four, mm. and she's not the only one. And there's so many women who are going through this and suffering in silence. And there has to be a reason. Never before in the history of the world have so many women and and women of African descent in particular had so many issues with fibroids and reproductive issues and and bleeding and bleeding and all this mm-hmm. there has to be a correlation increase in the the additives in the foods have made us now you know almost basket cases and these are things that will also lead to depression so it's a it's a multifactorial kind of problem that needs addressing on multiple levels first the food we have to clean up the food because mm-hmm, you are mm-hmm. what you eat Right. And as best you can, like we know it's a sacrifice. It is. And I mean, there are little hacks now, like what I've decided to, because, you know, you buy a big thing of fruits and vegetables on the weekend. And by Thursday, if you don't eat it, you know, half of them gone bad. Right. So here's the hack. Cut up the fruits and the vegetables, put them in the little Ziploc bags, put them in the freezer. Them in the freezer. So they're already in pre-packaged bags that you're either going to make a smoothie with, or if it's vegetables, you're going to make a stir fry. But start freeze bagging these things because mm-hmm, at mm-hmm. least one, it's fresh. You know, it wasn't. There's no processing happening to it before it got frozen, because you bought it fresh. Right. And throw it in the bag, and then you, you take it out and you make your smoothie, or you take it out and throw it in the pot to steam it, or whatever you do. But you have vegetables, so like buying frozen vegetables or making it yourself is another hack, you know. So you have those things ready to go, and you can also take them as little little um, snacks. So for the kids, especially grapes, and those are kind of high sugar, but uh, whatever other fruits you want. Cut them up in small pieces, put them in the bag, in the freezer, freeze them, and he can take them with him in a little lunch bag. And those can be his snacks during the day as, you know, like a little icicle, a fruit icicle or vegetable but icicle or the, whatever. The, 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 the trick with that is to get them to like the fruits or the vegetables. Yeah, but, you know, make it the thing up. I think the smoothie is the is the easiest way to slide it in there for them. Right. Because when you make a smoothie with fruit and you throw some vegetables in there, as long as I don't say a heart and a leap, as long as I don't see it, <laughs> yeah, it's not really a big deal. And they don't taste it because it, especially with spinach, yeah. it doesn't have a heavy flavor. So you right, put it right, in a smoothie right. with your with your strawberries or raspberries is my favorite or blackberries. Um and you can, if you need to have a sweetener, not necessarily, but usually a half of a banana, a ripe banana is enough sugar. Throw that in there. And then and you, blend, you have the fiber from the banana too. So it's not like just heavy sugar, just straight sugar. Mm-hmm. Blend it up and then give it to them in the form of a smoothie. Those things are helpful too, you know, but you, we have to start to find ways now to, to circumvent the processed foods, the processed snacks. Can't do it. it. You know, Chana, which is like a Trini, you know, I love my Trini food. Yeah. But um, chickpeas, if mm-hmm. you soak them overnight, throw off the water, put them single, like just one a single layer on a on a like a cookie sheet or something, mm-hmm. roast them, sprinkle. Want you don't have to put salt; they already have flavor. Uh, whatever seasonings you like, 
um, and a little chipotle seasoning or some pesto or whatever, and bam, you have some flavored chickpeas. Those are a nice little snack. Um, sunflower seeds, anything in its natural state, as close to its natural state as possible. Right. Is where we have to go and, and trying to drink as much water as you can. Um, not the, the carbonated beverages or the other sugar sugar laced beverages because sugar is the killer too. <laughs> right, right. And there's so many additives in food now that you know it it boggles the mind. We don't make food anymore. We have food additives, the chemicals that are made to taste like food. Yes, yeah. it, it's not food anymore. And you know, and our so many of us don't realize it. And 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 we go yeah. to again. Here we go, fast food restaurants out of convenience. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's the convenience is killing us. Yeah, because when you go ahead and you check those ingredients, mm-hmm. that 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 those products coming out of the fast food restaurant have mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. you, you your eyes go open wide and your mouth drop down to your knees yeah. because you're so 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 surprised at what is it, it is that you're putting into your body what is in there and and what you don't even realize is most of those fast food joints do not publish the full list of what's in their food it's called proprietary information yes. so they don't tell you they're not obligated to give you all the information of all the food additives that are in there because they, it's just it's it's you know encroached in, in, in proprietary information which really means i can put anything in there i damn well please and you don't know mm-hmm. and there's no way of you finding out unless you know you you work on the inside there's no way for you to know so if there's something in there that's a derivative of peanuts that is going to put somebody who has a peanut allergy into anaphylactic shock you're not going to know because nothing in there says peanut nothing on the label will say peanuts right you know but there you have it it's like wow somebody who has serious allergies can have a major incident from eating something that has an additive that is a derivative of some food group from way back <laughs> by the mm-hmm. time it's processed and put into this food that you're eating you don't even recognize it the the, the dangers of the convenience just like you said the dangers yeah short shortcut draw blood we don't realize, you know, we said those things as little children, we hear these little gems and we just, you know, you blow it off. You don't realize how serious it is. It's a serious thing. You know, it's a you, serious you, thing. you mentioned spinach um, mm-hmm. when talking about the smoothies. And mm-hmm. spinach fall in the top folate foods. Spinach, mm-hmm. asparagus, avocado, beets, mm-hmm. broccoli, mm-hmm. all in the, the top folate foods. All good foods. And and here's some other hacks, like eating even like avocados, because I love, I don't like the Haas avocados, the little ones, they're too mm-hmm. tiny. I like my Jamaican pear. I'm going to eat avocado. There you pear. go. Right? Um, it's off a big and green and the skin thin. I peel off the skin, it just peel off nice and it just smooth. Yes. Yeah, I uh, something like it, right? And it's firm, it's not plucker plucker, because I don't like plucker plucker avocado. Yeah, there are some but, people that don't know what plucker plucker means, you know? Them, them it, know, it, man. It's it, selfish, selfish. It, 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 it is just how the words sound. <laughs> yeah, it make it make it. I right. want that. I want it firm and hard. So anyway, <laughs> that is why we do healthy love, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we do healthy love. <laughs> so the avocados, if you get them and you find that they they go bad, because that's a lot of the most people complain about that. You know, they buy groceries. They can't go to the grocery store every day. Nobody has time for that. Right. You can't go and even if you're going to do one of those things where they deliver the food to you you want to pick your vegetables fruits and vegetables yourself so Mm -hmm. because for me at least i don't want anybody picking my food for me so i go i mean i i will go and i'll get an avocado today sometimes it's not ripe today i want to eat it today but i can't because it's not quite ripe yet right and then by the time it's ripe i can have you know two three slices max in one sitting and then you know i have to leave the rest and god forbid I don't remember it in the refrigerator and it goes bad. There are a couple of hacks with the, uh, the whole avocado. One, when you cut it, keep the seed in it. So don't mm-hmm. take the seed out and throw it away. The seed in it seems to help prevent it from going bad if you've already cut it. I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but it's just a mm-hmm. thing. So just keep the seed in it. That's one. Two, you can make buy guacamole there's some like, like at uh, aldi and a couple other grocery stores i think um costco too has the individual packages of guacamole that is like a single serving 
with only avocado and maybe sea salt in it. Like some of them really bare, the bare minimum, nothing else in it. Okay. Really bare, which, which is what you want. You don't want it to have anything in it. Um, and just the bare avocado. And you can use that and top. You can put that on your toast. You can put that on your salad. You can use it as a dip for your vegetables, for even your carrots or or, or um asparagus but your um, celery things like that uh so things those are some hacks that you can use that are convenient because we're busy you don't get who has time to make a fresh batch of guacamole with every meal you don't have that kind of time you know but and, and you may not always have fresh lemons to squeeze so that it doesn't go black on you but at the same time you have to have find some way to get good healthy fats because those are the good fats that are going to give you one the feeling of satisfaction and satiety so you feel full you don't feel deprived and it also boosts your mood very highly omega-3 fats it's these are plant-based fats which are wonderful for you Mm -hmm. and help the mood and make you feel better and nothing makes you happier than a full belly and i don't care who you are (laughs) (laughs) does not matter who you are don't matter how depressed you might be eat some food with a full belly and see how good you feel right right instant mood lift instant so sometimes it's all about nutrition with with the depression you have to eat properly what that's a that's one of the the cornerstones a proper diet you have to get rest if we're not resting if we're up and worrying about the problems worry not fixing it you know worry does nothing more than wear you down the problem is still there Mm -hmm. and you have to there's a pill that you can take i don't know if it's fit for airplay (laughs) but um i'll spell it (laughs) i'll spell it for you go ahead it's 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 f-u-c-k-i-t-o-l <laughs> all right you can figure out what it means but basically <laughs> you just don't give a damn all right and, and i know it just sounds raw i know it's raw and i know that oh my god dr stone how could you but let me tell you something i'm a real person i'm a realist okay and i know when pressure reaches you, sometimes you know yeah. fitness should fit you, and you yeah. have to find a way to to smile. You have to find a way to just de-stress and decompress. Yes. And whatever it is, you have to do just to to be able to not think about the issue. Take it off your head. Put on your music. Dance. Go to a party. Go some. Do something to make yourself happy because there's a lot. People are carrying a lot. People are stressed. You understand? Mm-hmm, People are going through mm-hmm. a lot in their lives. And when we take it on and we don't find ways of dissipating the stress. Because let me tell you, I went through a really rough period, you know. When my mom was ill, I tell you, I didn't know what which which, which way was up. Yep. I didn't know. I really did not know. And it's a it's a difficult thing to lose a parent. I'm, and I, I still have days where I'm just like, I don't want to go anywhere. I still have those days, Mm -hmm. you know, and I still have days where I just sit and cry. It happens. But, you know, they're they're less now. They're less frequent than they used to be, you know, and I've learned how to to kind of modulate that. And that's the thing. You you have to find your way. And for everyone, it's a little different. But the bottom line is find something that makes you smile i love animals animals to me are like the best things in sliced bread <laughs> um but even better than children i don't know I don't, because i don't have any children i can say that but because it's when them chat back to you just want to kill them but animals don't talk back <laughs> they well, don't talk back well, they well, don't give you any lip <laughs> right well you know sometimes they, they have attitudes no though they ju- huh sometimes they have attitudes so they do. They do have their little attitudes, and they do, but they don't last long, you know. And they just want to love you and and please you, and they just sit around and they just sit with you like I'm I'm sitting on the floor here, and both cats, one on the left, one on the right, there you just go. keeping my company. No, they don't want anything from me, but they're just you know like, hey, mom, I'm just gonna sit with you and hang out and just sleep, and I don't I don't need anything. I just want to be here with you, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know. And so if it if it's a pet, get a pet. If it's a bird, a squirrel. A dog, a cat, whatever. A I'm fish. partial to cats because I think they're just a fish. Well, a fish can't really do much, but okay. Whatever what? works for you. I used to sit on my veranda in Huendin mm-hmm. and just watch my fish just swim around. And I was in the best place ever. Okay. Well, if that works for you, go ahead. <laughs> By all means. But then I, I had the dog birds. sitting with me too, so... <laughs> see there you go and then i also love birds so i don't believe in keeping birds in cages so i have bird feeders outside in my backyard and i put i fill them up every day and i have my family of birds that come i've named them i have harry and effie and i have 
Winnie and Jay, and I have my mommy bird, the blue bird that reminds me of my mom. Mm-hmm. I have, and it's a whole family of them out there. And they just come and they eat and they sing and they make beautiful music. And I, I listen to them and that lifts my mood. I was like, wow, look at the birds and all colors are beautiful. I have cardinals and blue jays and, and, and uh, hummingbirds come by every now and again because I have a couple of hummingbird feeders out there too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I have barbla doves and, and blackbirds and all kind of who's in my watch. Some of them I don't even recognize. I'm like, I, I have to look that one up. I even had a hawk, a Florida red really? hawk come like swoop down. Yup, swoop down in my back. I was like, what in the world? But yeah, and all the other birds scattered. They're like, whoops, let's go. <laughs> 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 Time to go. But I was like, what in the, that's a hawk. Yeah, totally. It was a beautiful bird. But anyway, and he was he was not big. If they're not those particular um, hawks or falcons, don't get that large. Yeah. But still, you know. But it's still just nice watching them, and it's it's relaxed. I don't do lizards. I have lizards back there too, but I don't I don't care for them. The cats usually. That's what the cats are them. for. That's what the cats and are the for. Hawk. They're kids and the hawk. hawk because yeah. they will get them. Yeah, because they'll get them. But the, those are the fast man. They they know to get out of dodge. But that those those simple things, you know, taking a walk outside, list, breathing some fresh air, listening to the rain, putting some music on, you know, take, taking time for self care. That's important. Go get a massage. You can't afford a big heavy one. Go sign up at, at Massage Envy and get a thirty dollar one. You know, mm. if it's even the introductory one, and you don't go back. But for one day, <laughs> go do something that is good for you get a massage get a manicure get a pedicure something you, you know what where you're taking care of yourself yes funny you should say a massage mm-hmm. on kevinstew.com on one of the mm-hmm. sliders mm-hmm. you click on the one that mm-hmm. has the masseuse on it you for call, see you later yes i saw that i saw there's a licensed massage therapist i had no clue yeah I had no idea. Give her a call. Yes, and, and she will set you she up. She will come to you. And exactly. Yeah. Healing heavenly hands. Look call at that. Althea. She'll come to you and lay hands on you. Lay hands. And that will be a fantastic experience because you know what? The person brings their energy and I know her. She's a fantastic person. So they bring their energy to you and she's warm, loving, joyful, sweet, you know, and so all of that is translated when she touches your body. So obviously you can't do anything but get better. Can't be anything there you go. but feel elated because you know that's that's the kind of energy she brings. So all of those things are important to do. Self care is critical because that's what we tend to forget when we're in the throes of the stresses and when yeah. life gets hard and you know you, you, you we forget about ourselves first. And I, I'm guilty of it. I know I've done it. Been there. I'm preaching to the choir here today mm-hmm. because I've been there. You know, and I understand. I've been in the trenches. I get it. I totally understand. But at some point, you have to pull your head out of the sand and say, "Okay, if I don't take care of me, it's all going to fall down." And I had to do that. I had to stop myself. I had to. There, there were some relationships I had to end. There were some people I just couldn't speak to anymore for those very reasons. Self preservation is critical. Yes. And yes. self-care is critical. And when you have people around you and in your life who are, rather than give to you and love on you and bless you, cause you stress and strife, you have to let that go. Because all of that adds to your stress and angst and discomfort. And it doesn't do you any good. It doesn't serve you. Not at all. So anything, anything and anyone in your life that does, if it doesn't bless you, if it doesn't bring you money, if it doesn't bring you joy, peace or orgasms, let it go. <laughs> Listen, you know what? Flat out. We're, 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 <laughs> I, I, I can't even do it enough. Um, here, um, we need, we need, we need, yes, the congregation. Flat out. Flat yes, out. Flat out. It, you just, you just need to let it go. You gotta let it go because it doesn't make sense otherwise. It, life is too short. Life can be difficult. It's a wonderful experience. It's a beautiful journey. But along the journey come some rough times. And mm-hmm. along with the journey comes some some painful experiences. And if you don't have a good support system, one, or if you don't have, and, and sometimes your support system is yourself, Yeah. first and foremost, first and foremost. So if you don't take care of you, what's going to happen? That's right. 616 in, 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 in the part says, Reiki massage is amazing. 
Oh, absolutely. All of the different types of massage therapy are wonderful. I'm, I like the deep tissue because I have lots of issues. I've had, I'm not just a chiropractor. I'm also a patient I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I've had three automobile accidents myself. So there are times when I, you know, I'm just, I'm not a happy camper. And I used to dance. <clears throat> so, well, not competitively, but I used to dance in a dance company when I was an undergrad. And so my knee, I have a bum knee every now and again that, you know, decides to remind me that, hello, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And so with, you have multiple injuries. You know, if you're an active person, you're going to have injuries. You have you have battle scars. But I found a way now to, to one, work on them. And I have to make sure that I always, ever so often, take time, schedule my massage, get it done. Because if I don't, I, I, I can't even straighten up. Right, right. <laughs> Every day so I get up out the chair and I'm like, good God, what happened? How old am I today? <laughs> you know, like, what, when in the world, what? What is this? I used to just get up and bounce around because I'm a, I'm a hyper kind of person, so I just bounce around anyway. So when I can't bounce, I'm not happy. I'm like, what? 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 When did this happen? Mm. <laughs> and it's time to take myself in hand. So yeah, those are things that you can do that are simple. They they're not expensive. They are they're essential for your peace and your tranquility. Let me tell you, nothing is worth your peace. Nothing. Absolutely yeah. nothing and no one is worth your peace. Or and getting if they're a piece. causing you stress or getting a piece. Exactly. <laughs> and no and if they're coming in between you and your peace, they have got to go. You may have to draw a piece. Simply put. Simply put, you have to draw your piece to make sure you're maintaining your peace. Right. So this you just have to do what you have to do. And and again, especially for us, you know, we have to learn, especially for us women, we tend to be pleasers. We're the nurturers. We always want to make sure everybody's happy mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm. expense of our own happiness and peace and tranquility. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way that, hey, no, I know my peace is important. And if it means I have to say goodbye to you, that's just what it's going to be. Bye. <laughs> and I take, I take no prisoners. By Felicia, I take no prisoners. I just, I don't, I really have, I give zero dams. <laughs> zero. Don't care no more. Don't care no more. You understand? That's right. Because my, I, my piece is important. I mean, I, I remember I, right after my mom passed, I was in, I ended up going to the doctor. I was like, you know, I wasn't feeling good. I was like, maybe I need some medication because I think I'm depressed. Like, seriously, I thought, I, I felt like this was clinical depression. Like, I, I have to snap out of this. I need help. That's how bad it got. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember Winston at the time, I, he was my fiance at the time. And he said, babe, you know, you just, you, I don't think you need to get drugs, but you, you, do, you, you need to just maybe talk to somebody or something like that. I was like, no, I need medication. This, I can't, this is not, the talking isn't helping me right now. And, you know, for me to, to get to that point, when I am this, the biggest anti-medication person, but yeah. you hear me start talking like that, you know, I need It's help. serious, right, right. <laughs> this is serious because I recognize now that the natural stuff, I am past the point where the natural stuff is going to be effective. And so I went to the doctor only to be told when I, uh, when she took my blood pressure, that the, the medical assistant looked at me and she just walked out the room. <laughs> and she came back in with the doctor and she said, uh, doctor, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your medicate, your blood pressure again. And she took it with a manual uh, machine this time. And she took it off and she stopped and she looked at me. And she said, I'm going to give you a, a horse tranquilizer. It would soon say that, but she's going to give me a medication. No, seriously, what they gave me at the point was, was clonidine, which is a very strong like anti-anxiety medication, like super strong, like seriously, like mm -hmm. for somebody like me who, who, who falls asleep on aspirin, this is right. a horse tranquilizer. And so she brought it in, she gave it to me and they said, they closed off that whole area of the clinic. Okay. Had nobody else over there. They told me, okay, go lay down because if this doesn't come down in the next 30 to 45 minutes, we're calling the ambulance. Mm. So you're going to lay down here and we're going to leave you here. Take, turn your phone off. Just look. And she turned the light off and they locked me in that room. There you go. <laughs> like you need to use a bathroom, knock on the door. Somebody will come and let you out, but you need to stay here. Do not move. They were that serious. Mm. My blood pressure was that high. I mean, so there's, there were a couple other things going on. Right. It was that high. I mean, it was, I mean, I was just out of it. And had I not had that intervention at that moment, who knows? If I would be here talking to you guys now, who knows? Mm. Right? But it, that was how that was how 
how built up the pressure had been. That's right, how bad right. it had gotten. And so I had to stop and take stock. And that was when my life changed. I was like, okay, this is it. I am changing things. I'm just some things I'm not going to let bother me anymore. But you some see, people I'm not going to let bother me anymore. This is it right here. People tend to mm -hmm. think that although if, if, if you're in a professional field, um, mm -hmm. like you as a doctor, mm -hmm. um, that certain things you don't come your way. No. Uh -huh. Oh, we get more of it. <laughs> oh, you're a people too. We have more of it. Yeah. And everybody expects. And then you see when, when you're a caretaker and you are constantly the one caring for people, you forget to care for yourself. Right. So you fall by the wayside. So I'm, I, I'm not eating properly. I'm not drinking. I'm not, I'm not getting enough rest. I'm stressed and I'm not finding an outlet. I, I don't have time to do anything. I'm tired all the time. I just, I'm, I'm stressed and I just want to come home and go to bed. I, I'm, I'm stress eating. So I'm eating a tub of ice cream and a whole side of a cheesecake yep, to self-medicate right because there. I'm not too, very balanced because I have my day of everything full, full, all the food groups represented. Yeah, equal weight and, in, in each hand. Yeah, in each one. There you go. <laughs> very balanced. And 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 I'm stress eating because I I, I just I, I'm just that's my self medication rather than going and taking <laughs> some milk, some right, Danax right. or something. This is my medication, and that's what I was doing for a long time. And I had to like snap myself out. Like, wait a minute, this is I I can't live like this. This is bad. And I mean, thankfully, I have a great partner who's supportive, too. And he's like, no, he would see me spiraling. Mm -hmm. You know, he could see me spiraling and he would be like, no, babe, come. And he would come. Let's go. We're going to Disney World. We're doing this. We're going here. We're doing something because he recognized, you know, the change. He saw me just going out of control, right, right, just, right. just going down quickly. And there was nothing he could say to me that was helping. So he would just start jumping in and doing stuff, which, which was very helpful. And sometimes it's great to have that support, but if you don't have that support, then what do you do? Mm -hmm. You have to be it for yourself and have to you, know, it, yeah. you have to, you have to create it for yourself. So find, and, and you need, if you need a support system, go out and fight. You have to have, everybody has to have somebody. Whether it be a friend, somebody who looks in on you, an older person, younger person, somebody, nobody on this planet needs to be alone. Hey, no man is an island. You never should be. No man is an island. And I used to foolishly believe that I was. <laughs> hey, you're definitely really not did. an island. <laughs> no, I'm not. I used to believe I was. I used to because, you know, my, my mom and my I think my mom was my crutch for many years. She was just very cathartic. And she was because I'd be like, I don't need a man. I have my mother. I have you. Where, what, what am I doing? I don't need nobody. I got my mama. Mm -hmm. And then mama was gone. <laughs> and it's kind of funny and I didn't that, know what that, that he showed up around about the time when she was ready to exit. I, around the time. It is so crazy. He showed up and insisted that he meet her and would just, I mean, and he took care of her. He was cutting her hair. He was, he took care of her, literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was so supportive and so awesome. And so it, you know, he came along and was just really helpful in that time. And it made a world of difference, you know, so that he was my somebody. But everybody needs somebody, whether it's a romantic relationship or a friend, a close friend or somebody, have somebody that's your accountability person or partner who will check in on you before you go to bed. Hey, you, you call them and say, hey, I'm good. I'm going to sleep. I'm all right. Right. And some at some point during the day, you touch base so they know you're OK. But everybody needs a somebody. And I, I used to think I didn't need anyone. I'm telling you, you know, my mom used to tell me, she said, you, you, that's what you say, but you need somebody. And I, she said, I don't want you to be alone. You need to have someone. I don't need nobody. I don't. Because I thought I knew. <laughs> but they say age bring wisdom, right? There you go. And and it's true. You all that you have to have somebody to check in with. Somebody you need to. There must be someone. Has to be a, a pressure release, a valve release for you. Find that person, whoever it is. If it's a cat, a dog, a, per, a human, whoever mm -hmm, it is, mm -hmm. you sit and talk to me. Sometimes there were times when I'd come home and I'd sit and just cry with the cat. And hug the cat because he was here, you know, and, and he didn't understand. He didn't know what was going on, but he knew I, something was wrong with me. So he would just come and sit because animals are instinctive like that. But whoever it is, be it human or or fur or furman, <laughs> 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 human or furman, find someone, have someone that you can be that release valve for and they can be vice versa. Six they one six says there's always God. He's always there for me. Always. Always. But sometimes you need that person right next to you that you can feel. Yeah. 
God is always there for all of us, but sometimes you need somebody to hold, that, or that if they, sometimes person. they need to shake you. Yes, sometimes you need somebody to shake you and slap you out of your nonsensical, you know, thinking. Yeah. Um, because you're spiraling, and you, you somebody has to just jack you out of that. But you know that that contact, you gotta have somebody there to be like, hey, you good? Everything good? All right, good. Go on, go sleep. We'll talk to you tomorrow. You know what I mean? And check in with you at some point during the day. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Because we all have rough times and rough patches but that's why we're all here to help each other we get by with a little help from our friends yeah that's how i got by how, that's how, how i got through how, how you feel about probiotic foods dr j they're fantastic because they're providing a lot of the natural flora and fauna that you need in the digestive system that because of stress sometimes is not present mm -hmm. or because of certain medications it gets stripped if you're on antibiotics for an extended period of time it throws off the gut Wait, define flora, extended normal flora. define extended period of time extended well here here's what's happening now if you're not in the know with the, the new bugs the new flu is putting people in the hospital mm -hmm. um people have to be on antibiotics and antivirals because they don't know really whether it's viral or it's, it's bacterial so they throw everything at you all at once right you throw you take those patients they're going to destroy your gut flora and it can take if you're not eating the proper foods to put them back, back in the right balance it can take you months to get back in track it can take months and so you need if the if you have the probiotics and i prefer the liquid refrigerated kind mm -hmm. um if it's the, the dry kind those don't usually survive gi transit you mean um, like the, the, the pills? one of the the yeah, the pills are the, some of the pills are okay if they are in the proper format because if they are like readily available as soon as you swallow it, they're breaking down in your GI, in right, your stomach. Right. Mm -hmm. They won't survive intestinal transit, so they won't get to the intestines. Okay. So a lot of those probiotics you have to be careful with because some of them don't get don't can't pass gut time. Right. The ones you need are the kind that are they're not they're not I don't think they're called timed release. But they're a type that really will will pass through the gut and break down as they're in the gut versus in the stomach. If it breaks down in the stomach, it's no good because the, the acid in the stomach destroys them. Right. But if they get through, they have to get through the stomach undigested and then get into the gut and then you're good. Mm -hmm. Once they get there, then you're fine. Once they colonize the gut, you're okay. But those are the kinds you need. There's a company that makes them. They actually, I forget the name now. I'll remind me to, to tell you about them. Okay. But those are the ones that survive intestinal transit time so much so that you can't take a whole pill all at once when you first start out because it can lead to some in some GI disturbance and upset. Really? You can get upset because it's so much. Yeah, because it's like a big hit all at once. You have to take like a piece <laughs> so it colonizes and, and slowly gets the, the, the gut, the, the, the floor in the gut to expand and to grow to a level that is comfortable for you. Because if you're coming from not having any gut bacteria, or not having good ones, or you're full of candida, and you all mm -hmm. of them all of a sudden put the good bacteria in. It's like a war in the, in the GI tract, and it can right. be uncomfortable. You get bloated. You'll have diarrhea or constipation. Either any one of those, or a combination of those three things. So it's good to have the the other kind that that survives that transit, so it gets into the GI slowly and slowly builds up your resistance. Slowly builds up the amount that the complement of of bacteria you have in the GI. What do you know about kombucha? Kombucha, any fermented food is great. So things like sauerkraut, kombucha, um, what do you call it? What is that? What's that other one? Which one? Um, miso? Not, not, miso. Any of those fermented foods are very good for you because they already have the bacteria there ready for you to go, <laughs> ready to go. It's in the food. It's it's the best way to get it in. That's the best way to get your, your bacteria in it anyway. It's through your food rather than taking a pill or a supplement. <laughs> I know there are some people that are right now going, why would you want to put bacteria into your body? Yeah, but because they're already there. There is no, no sterile environment. If you think you're sterile, think again. You're not. You're not your skin. It's it's, colon, it's millions of bacteria all over you, and don't not to mention inside. And what people don't recognize is that your GI tract is not really inside your body. It's considered to be outside your body. I know that doesn't make sense to you, but if you you could thread, you could take a piece of thread, mm -hmm. run it from your mouth all the way to your anus, 
and it does not come in contact with your blood supply. So it's really considered external. Mm -hmm. Once it's direct blood supply, then it's internal. So there's no direct blood supply for a reason. If you have direct blood supply to your GI tract and you eat a piece of meat that's bad, then you're septic and you're dead. Right. The species would never survive. So your GI tract is really outside of your body and it has to, it, it's that way so that whatever you eat eventually can diffuse its way through to the proper channels, obviously, and through getting absorbed into the areas where then the, the, it has blood supply and it can go to the parts of the body that you need it. So it's the same way for the bacteria. The it, your bacteria already colonize that area. They're mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> They're all through the GI tract and for good reason, because they help to break down your food. Certain foods we can't break down on our own. We don't have the enzymes for it. It's the bacteria in the GI tract that help you break it down. See, bacteria is not always bad. So, no, they're so, not always bad at know, all. They're great for you. And, and here they it is. Beer. And <laughs> there you go. If you're a beer Canada. drinker. And um, wine. But here it is. At one point, you, you remember when the whole craze was antibacterial soaps? Yeah, and so we've created a bunch of children who are now allergic to everything on the planet. There you and go. And their immune systems are non-functional. There you, have you to, go. The immune system is just like your, your body in terms of like the muscles. You don't work them, you lose them. Mm -hmm. You have to work it. So the immune system has to be challenged in order for it to develop immunity. You, you can't get immune by preventing, but keep keeping yourself in a vacuum. The planet is not a vacuum. You're exposed to bacteria and viruses and prions and God knows what Thank all you. day, every day you're bombarded by them. So if you don't allow your body to be exposed, that's, that's why when children go to daycare for the first time, they're sick every day. Yep. Because they've been at home with mama all along. She, they've been getting, if they've been breastfed, they have derived mom's immunity. Then all of a sudden now they go outside and they're hit with everything. And they start getting sick every day. It's not unusual. That's how they develop their immune systems. So them getting sick, as, as much as it's annoying, <laughs> as much as, like, oh, my God, I got to go back and pick them up from school today. As it's much as they're going thing. through all that, it is a good thing because their immune systems are getting some exercise. So the next time they come in contact with that bug, they won't be sick. Next time they come in contact with that bug, they won't be sick. And before you know it, they're not sick anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. because now they've developed natural immunity in the natural way rather than being injected with it. And that's an art. That's, that's a hey, conversation that, for a whole nother day. That starts a whole nother show a right whole there. whole nother <laughs> show. <laughs> Dr. J. Love. Oh my show. goodness. I can't tell you how glad I am that you popped in tonight. It's, 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 I would, you know, I wanted to pop in on the marriage show too, but I think I fell asleep that um, night. That's tomorrow, don't worry. It, it kind of, there's a oh, spin off tomorrow? of it tomorrow night in Real Talk. Okay, I think I'll pop in on that one because I can speak on it now. <laughs> oh, so now, now, now you want to speak on um, the, the the whole creation of vows? <laughs> of vows, I can speak on it now because you know I'm living it. And then what's funny is is with with Winston and I, we kind of we kind of felt like we were married. You know, people said, "Oh my God, you how come you weren't nervous at your wedding? How come you were able to sing to him and you get all this stuff, and you weren't nervous?" I said, "No, because it just felt." It just felt like another day with him. It just wasn't, yeah. you know, it wasn't unusual. It was like the most natural thing in the world. And it just seemed like we've been married since we met. Because mm -hmm. honestly, from the first day, from our first date, we haven't been apart. We have not been apart from our first date. Yeah. It, it's the date that never, we, we both laugh at each other. Like the, it's the date that never ended. We're still on that first date. It hasn't ended. Still on the first date. So it's, like, you know, when, when it's like that, when the relationship is like that, it's not difficult to have a ceremony and do the other part that, you know, people think, oh, my God, are you going to be nervous? I was not nervous. Not before, not during, not after. Like, mm -hmm. none. There so was true. I was there. I saw nervousness. it. <laughs> exactly. I was not nervous at all. I'd be like, you're not nervous? Nope. <laughs> it was just one was fun not... hangout time. That's what it was. Exactly. It was fun to have fun with my friends and all the people who've been so supportive of us. And it was it was a great it felt like family. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a family kind of feeling. And that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Everybody there was just I mean, they were all basically just family. It was really just family there. Oh, yes. It so, really Dr. J, 
um let me go ahead and publicly ask a question do we get to get you back uh, on occasions on a tuesday night yeah on occasions i i can do it on occasions i'll I, take I, I occasions commit to every single tuesday but i definitely will pop in here and it when i can because I, I enjoy doing this this is fun you know this is my love Listen. i absolutely enjoy it and it's so it, it's I, I love to be able to help people going through stuff and i think we all go through our own struggles to be able to help the next person because we can handle it. it means we get we get blessed with the stress because we can handle it our backs are broad and we're here we're here to help the next person whose back may not be as broad who needs a little bit extra assistance and ask you how did you do it okay here's what i did and this is and that's what's going to help them out and it's we all help each other in that way there are things that i have struggles with mm -hmm. that somebody else is going to be able to help me with you know what i mean right, right so we help each other get through and that's that's just the way it is it's it's a cooperative effort for us all we're all in the same race let me we're blow your mind a little bit race. let me blow your mind a mm -hmm. little bit you, uh -oh. you realize that we started doing this almost 10 years ago? Stop it. <laughs> uh, Q turns 10 this coming September. You are joking. Okay. You are joking. Okay. You check it. <laughs> From back when we used to go over to the studio and do it live? Yes. From back oh in the Flex FM gosh. days. Flex FM, geez, um, are they still around? No. I used to get the emails from them and then I stopped. I noticed those stopped. Yeah. Oh, well, you are kidding. Mm -hmm. 10 years. Yep. Rolling up onto 10 years. Wow. Rock the Box has been around for eight. Oh, my God. Yep. This is crazy. Blow your mind just a little bit. <laughs> blown. Mind blown. Dr. J, you I, have I, I, successfully thank you, thank blown you, it. Thank you. Oh, you are so very welcome. It has been my distinct honor and privilege. Because distinct. You I could not have done it and anything else tonight. Healthy love wouldn't have been healthy love without dr j love. without dr j love right <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, dr j love was in the building glad to have you back so glad to have you back and i thank i, I thank so winston much. from the <gasps> bottom of my heart and not the heart of my bottom that <laughs> you can be here <laughs> uh, I will tell him. Oh my God, poor thing. He's passed out. He's knocked out. He's so tired. Of today. course. He is exhausted. So he, um, we had a rough day yesterday because I was helping him in the morning and then I went to work. Mm. And then he continued on. And then it was, it was a, one of those days. So yeah. We, it was a long one. So he, and he didn't get much sleep either because of running around all day, he didn't eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he has that delicate kind of song if he doesn't eat during yeah, the day the gas we need is to, murder we need to fix that doc we practice what we preach around here let's go let's go let's go he, absolutely i told him you know but he we were running and it was kind of unavoidable for him yesterday right. but we we remedied that today so he's he's much better now but he okay, has to good, get good, some good. sleep so he yeah he decided to turn in a little early. so i'm up i'm just up with the cats <laughs> well they don't leave me at this point it's our musical therapy time yes and, and i have some new music coming through um, a brand new song from this young lady by the name of Lyrae, and it's called Lyrae. for your love funny enough dr j love pops in and musical therapy starts out with a new tune from a young lady by the name of Lyrae with a track Look called for your love all right um uh speaking of new tracks though um when 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 you go in the studio who me yeah boy you know i don't know you know one of these days i think i really before my voice completely disintegrates i think i probably should put something on wax i do believe i should i think i should and i have something record something for my hobby so when we get old we can sit back and listen Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember when me used to sing for your darling? <laughs> <laughs> Look how it is so nice. 
<laughs> Some things you don't lose, no, you know, Doc. Some things you huh? don't lose. You know, since, since, since I got you back um, for on, on occasions, let me see what I can do to get Almighty Crisis to resurface. <laughs> yes, we have to get Almighty. What can you imagine? What a prick that would be. What? Doctor mm. J Love and Almighty Crisis all in one location. Can Let you imagine? Me tell you, the world is not ready. Listen, they both forgot get ready, you know. Them need to get ready. Oh. Mm. But forget your day for real, cause we're not wait for them. That's right. No, so. <laughs> All right, DJ Stu, much love. Thanks so much for having me tonight, and we'll link up. I thank you for popping in. Anytime, my much dear. Love. Take care. Yeah, man, later. All right, later. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. J. Love, I want to thank JTMC Enterprises for sponsoring that previous segment. And as we roll into our musical therapy, the Wake Up and Live show is a sponsor for this segment. Sir Rockwell comes in with the Wake Up and Live show. Come tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., bright and early, Eastern time. And um, he takes us until 11 Unless you can get him to go a little bit longer. Well, it's reggae month. He's supposed to be doing what is reggae music. I don't know. You can ask him tomorrow. Just just, just, just go into the chat room, rockthebox.net, and say, yo, Rock, what happening? You going till midday today? Don't tell him that I said it. You should do it, though. All right? Cool. So it's musical therapy time. Like I said, new music from Larray for your love. Oh, you can't hear it. I'm I'm the only one hearing it on my side. I'm sorry. That's what I know what's going on.
come make we spend some time and all a nice vibe now Me have something for give your girl Me know you want it cause me can see it in your eyes now baby And we can take the time to ease your mind and steam up the sense Cause the night me need some company So girl I want your body Spend the night with me Oh yeah, oh yeah Cause the way you look tonight, baby You make me wanna sing and I say Ooh, ooh, me I'm the one who will Girl with meditation so high You will never see the love run dry You tell me, say you need me And you love me, and you know, say No other man like 616, I got you But I can be your Girl, because me no say you know say we a go both way And we a fly past the clouds Never know say you woulda light off the pound Never know say you woulda tear off me clouds Baby girl me why you sing it out low Tell me say you need to catch my dream This is the sound of King Charles Go down and dip Tell me say me like your style and me like your vibe so baby Working out with Tiffany Silver Flip Love it every time you call my name Track is called Spend the Night My city is my favorite Catalyst crew. This is called Conqueror. I am a conqueror to Christ who strengthens me. Peculiar people, chosen generation. I am royalty. More than a conqueror through God who strengthens me. Oh, walk with a price with the blood of Christ. Yeah. I am pedigree. I am a conqueror. Christ who strengthens me Peculiar people, chosen generation I am royalty I am a little conqueror Through God who strengthens me oh. Out with the price, with the blood of Christ yeah. I am pedigree Earth are on red, red Situation on your gate No put it on your head no. When them push up the price for the bread yo. Me say believe me, though it grieve me When me own a people that deceive me We work hard, blood, sweat and tears And a little bit of money tax thieving I am a conqueror Through Christ who strengthens me Peculiar people, chosen generation I am royalty I am a conqueror Through God who strengthens me, oh the price with the blood of Christ, yeah. I am pedigree. Yo, me special, that mean me one, one of a kind. No need the one bag of hype for shine. Live each day like the last time I go alive. So me take a step at a time. When people want to see your flop, want to see your drop, want to see your fear. So me even try and catch you under a trap, but good over evil prevail. I am a conqueror. 
Christ who strengthens me. We should have been but chosen generation. I am royalty. I am more than a conqueror. Through God who strengthens me. Oh, bought with the price, with the blood of Christ. Yeah, I am pedigree. You might see only one set of footprints in the sand. Stand your ground, never lose hope. Flip that frown around. You are more than a conqueror. Through Christ who strengthens me. Peculiar people, chosen generation. I am royalty. I am more than a conqueror. Through God who strengthens me. Oh, bought with the price, with the blood of Christ. Yeah, I am pedigree. on a mystic soul. The world is so filled with tricks and cold. Track is called Steal Your Joy. Regardless how much you've done your best, there is always someone putting you to the test. But don't let them be ones bring you down. Make you Ten minutes to the top.
people don't like negative forces get you down. Live your life, my people, let your love light shine every day. Shine your light, my people, don't let negative forces get you down. Live your life, my people, let your love light shine every day. minutes to the top of the hour, five minutes before I get out of here. You want one more? I got one more for you. Irie? Irie. In everything, give thanks. I my praise, thank you for another day, let it clear it right away. I'm alive, yes, I'm alive, my money in the bank, oh no, here I am, still give thanks, ask me how, I don't know, I ain't no bro, but I'm alive, yeah, I'm alive. I see the sun and I see the rain, yeah. I feel joy. In my father's name, you might fall every now and then. I still give thanks to the full extent. Yes, now up in the morning, I say my prayer. Thank you, Father, for another day. Let me carry it right away. I'm alive, yes, I'm alive. My in the back of no rain, but here I am. Ask me how, I don't know, I ain't no pro But I'm alive, yes I'm alive I can walk without fear or doubt yeah. Go to sleep with little to worry about I do know there's danger everywhere yeah. So I pray, dear Father, always be near in the morning, I say my prayer. Thank you, Father, for another day. Let me declare it right away. I'm alive, yeah. I'm alive, my money in the bank. Oh, no rank, but here I am. Still give thanks. Ask me how. I don't know. I ain't no pro. But I'm alive, yes. Yes, I'm alive. This is how we bounce out of here tonight. I let you day with an open mind. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for your participation. No, I will fall. But in time, I will grow, I will grow Tomorrow night I come back and we do Real Talk Wednesday Can even learn something from the youth Give a little nod if you know the truth yeah. Picking up where we left off last week Remember, Sir Rockwell kicks it off tomorrow morning on rockthebox.net to the Wake Up and Live show. Thanks to Sir Rockwell and the Wake Up and Live show for sponsoring this, the musical therapy segment. And typically at 7 o'clock, it's a give thanks segment. An excellent way to start the day. You might fall every now and then. I still give thanks to the full extent. Yes, now. Up in the morning, I say my prayer. Thank you, Father, for another day. Let me carry it right away. I'm alive, yes. I'm alive, man. Put in the back of no rain, but here I am. Still give thanks. Ask me how. I don't know. I ain't no pro. But I'm alive. Yes, I'm alive I can walk without fear or doubt yeah. Go to sleep
Sweet. You're very welcome, 616. And thank you for your support. It's truly appreciate love, dear. Gotta bounce on out of here no, I will fall to Until later on I will grow, When I come back I grow. Can't be too old to be taught Real Can't Talk Wednesdays from the youth. Give a little nod if you know the Let's go ahead and wish y'all a happy hump day, right? Cool I'm out of here I'm alive. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you Wherever you are in the world over here, good night. Here I am, still give thanks. Let's me out. I don't know, I ain't no pro. But I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. The moment is priceless. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse E Media Group has the tools you need. Weddings. Birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse E-Media Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse E-Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.